All right, beer advent, day three. A little bit nippy out. Still a nice weekend. People are off this weekend. Christmas lights are going up. Moho ho all around. So we're going to get back to some seasonal beers. So day three, beer advent. Today we're going to be reviewing Port Brewing Santa's Little Helper. Port Brewing Santa's Little Helper. Not very good lighting there. Santa's Little Helper. All right, so this is a, a beer that's made in San Marcos, California. It is an Imperial Stout. Russian style, I believe. I haven't really read the whole thing yet. Little story on the side here about how Santa Claus loves beer. I told you that on day one. See, I know things. This says that in July, he always goes out to Port Brewing, which is in California. He picks up a whole bunch of this uh, Imperial Santa's Little Helper Stout. Drinks it all year long. That gets him in a jolly mood so that when December comes along, he's all ho, ho, ho. And wants to give away things because apparently he's just all drunk. So... Uh, this one here is 10.5% alcohol by volume. You may notice it's a corked beer. Uh, corked beer. Mostly to look fancy. This is what they used to cap beers with in the old days before they came up with, uh, with bottle capping, which is a little bit of a cheaper option. It's eco-friendly, so it kind of dissolves with the, uh, with the ground. Back in the day, they used to cap beer with glass, with wood, sometimes even string that was a little bit oiled up, but that didn't keep the CO2 in. That's what a lot of beer, uh, cappers and bottlers and brewers will tell you is that the reason that they use cork is to keep the co2 and have a higher level most beers are around two two and a half percent you can get up to four four and a half percent depending on what you're looking for i don't see it a whole lot in imperial stouts a lot of times uh beers that you want to keep fermenting and you need to roll the beer that's what they're in but we're going to give this one a uh a chance today so on the uh label here we've got santa claus it looks like he's in his boxer shorts and his wife beater and uh, he's hanging out with one of his reindeer. It looks like Rudolph actually has got the red nose. And his little elf is uh, is uh, pouring the draft. There you go. So, cool little label. Very festive. Very mo-ho-ho. -ho. Alright, we need a glass. We need a clean glass. No sippy cup today. We're going real man beer. Uh, so we're going to go in the, uh, the snifter style here. Clean glass. So we can get a break. And this one, we are going to have to uncork. So let's see what we got here. That was the easy part. Nice, slow. Let that CO2 out too fast. There we go. Little pop. Oh, no pop. Huh. Wonder when this was bottled. It doesn't have a doesn't have a bottling date, but we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. Oh, that is that is a good looking beer. All right. So, like I said, you want to open. I could tell not. Not a ton of head on that thing. Very chocolatey. Ooh. Cocoa. Chocolate. A little fruit in there. All right. Bottoms up. That's good. You get the hops at the end, so it's coffee, uh, very chalk. It's, it's your typical stout. Not sure what make this, makes this festive except for the label. I'm not sure what it makes it a Christmas beer. This is a good year-round drinking beer. Most stouts I see as a dessert beer. So, uh, but I could see drinking this with a big, juicy steak. Uh, maybe some, uh, some beef stew. That would be a good pairing for it. Um, but dessert-wise, just with the flavors it has... Number one recommendation I would have is go down to Red Robin, have one of their big mud pies. One of these beers here. And this one's getting two sips. That is good. That is good. A little more carbonated than I thought it was going to be. That's a good beer. I would give that one a thumbs up. Port Brewing, San Marcos, California. I know two Marcos. Used to be my neighbor. I know Marco Munoz. What's up, Marco Munoz? And, uh... That's my, that's my review for today. Thumbs up on Port Bruin. Santa's little helper. Go up with him in July. Maybe he'll save some for you. Put it in your stocking this year. Mo ho ho. Merry Christmas.